Hello and welcome everyone to a new video here on my channel and I know it's been quite some time since I have last uploaded a proper video but here we go with a full new video and a new fighter jet for Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, some of you may recognize this plane or think they will recognize this plane. Um, this is a modified SU-47 Barracoot. And this is a version that is pretty much exclusive to the uh, Ace Combat series of games. It's more or less based on real concepts which eventually led to the SU-47. But I believe in this particular version it was never imagined in real life. So yeah. Anyway, let's hop in this aircraft and check it out. We've got a normal SU-47 parked next to us to uh, showcase the differences a little. So uh, first and foremost, the production production SU-47 has outwards canted stabilizers. Here we have them canted inwards. Um, the S-32 has ECM pods mounted on the wingtips. The SU-47 does not. Um, these ECM pods are carried by the flanker series in real life, for example, so those do exist. And we have this square exhaust nozzle. This is pretty much the biggest difference, I believe. So uh, here we have two normal round non-thrust vectoring nozzles, and here we have the square one with uh, moving paddles, and yeah. As I said, this plane debuted in Ace Combat 5, I believe, and was used prominently by uh, the enemy Ace Squadron in the final mission. And it has since been featured in the handheld versions Ace Combat X, Skies of Deception, for example. Um, but I think apart from that, we haven't seen it in any other major Ace Combat. So yeah, this model here uh, was originally the SU-47 from Ace Combat 7 and it was modified into this S-32 version by Megalith for Ace Combat 7 and I ported it with permission to Grand Theft Auto 5. Alright, let's stop the talking, well not stop the talking but take off while we're talking. Uh, Feature-wise, uh, when it comes to control surfaces and everything, uh, this is basically identical to the SU-47 mod. Although this one here has some uh, additional features. For example, you can see uh, here on top, when I slow down, come on, uh, you can see these extra intake covers opening up. And when I accelerate, they will close. Uh, the same goes for the exhaust. You can see at uh, slower speeds the engines uh, or the exhaust is wide open and the faster you go uh, the further it will close down. So uh, these actually do not move with any pitch movement. They are uh, only dependent on the airspeed. So uh, if I for example pull a hard turn and the aircraft slows down or goes to a stall you can see the intakes open up as well just like the exhaust. Additionally, we can open up the weapon bay, revealing two air-to-air -air missiles, which we can fire, of course. Close them back. And we've got a working cannon. Nothing extraordinary here. Um, let's check out the different liveries. We've got three different liveries, all based on Ace Combat. So this is uh, the standard livery in Ace Combat 5. So naturally it has the Ocean Wardog markings. Um, when we go to the livery menu, we've got LX Squadron, which was an enemy Ace Squadron in Ace Combat X Skies of Deception for the PlayStation Portable. And we've got the enemy Ace Squadron from Ace Combat 5, Grabak. And um, this actually has this sort of unpainted prototype part on the bottom. This is how it was in Ace Combat 5 actually. 
the SU-47 skin it has a solid color, solid bright color. Um, but the prototype S32 in Ace Combat 5 did have these unpainted, mismatched colored parts with some uh, markings written on them. So, yeah. Cockpit-wise, this is, well, identical to the uh, SU-47. We've got some working instruments, some working gauges. I think we could actually try and land at Cayo Perico. we go so um, yeah oh actually uh, let me just uh, check yep we can open up the refueling boom but nothing really special all right so this is it this is the s32 golden eagle well basically it's the same name as Barcode, just in English and yeah the release will be soon this mod is pretty much finished as you can see right here so um yeah hope you enjoyed watching the video the mod link will be posted in the description once it's uploaded and i'll see you in the next video after then as always take care